Hey, welcome to today's yoga. This is all about strength. It's about accepting challenges and taking yourself through them. Sometimes challenges are a really good thing because they make us stronger inside and out. So I want you to use this yoga to take these challenges, learn to build your mental strength through them and they'll be able to carry you throughout the class. So we're gonna bring ourselves down and start in child's pose. So join your toes together, reach your hands forward and just let your head rest down on the ground. Take some really big deep breaths in here and just let your body fully relax down. Breathe in through the nose and out through the nose. Watch the belly lift and the belly drop. From here, breathe in, lift, lift up, lift up to down dog, and push your weight right back into your heels. From here, take a big deep breath in, bring your weight forward over your hands, exhale, drop to your knees if you need, lower down strong, breathe in and lift up. Just gently moving the body through to get it nice and warm. So exhale, come forward again. Breathe out, exhale lower, breathe in and lift. Come back again, push the heels back, inhale, come forward. Everything stays strong, we inhale. We lean back a little bit further with each one. Go two more, inhale, just feel how the body is feeling today. Is it anywhere that feels tight or tired? And just breathe into that spot. Inhale, lift. Exhale, come back. Walk your feet towards into your hands. Let the whole body melt down into a forward fold. Then breathe in and lift up into a flat back. Exhale, forward fold again, breathe in and rise up, exhale, come down, inhale and lift, float forward, exhale and step your feet back into down dog, bring the weight forward over the hands again, exhale, lower strong, inhale, sweep up, come back. Jump your feet forward if you're ready. Hands to shins, lift up, flat in the back. Exhale, breathe out and soften. A big breath carries you all the way up. Then bring your hands behind your back, link the fingers and roll the shoulders back. Then inhale, lift up. Exhale and forward fold. Carry your breath into each movement and think of yourself as continually sliding through each movement. Breathe out and lower, breathe in and lift. A continuous flow with your breath as you energize the body and start to create some strength. Soften down and relax. The breath rises up. Hands behind the back, link the fingers and pull the shoulders back and open. And take the breath up again. Exhale and dive down and forward fold. Hands come up. Lengthen. Jump back. This time take one foot up. Strengthen and lower. Inhale and sweep. Then glide back again, the other foot lifts, come forward, exhale lower, breathe in and come up, glide back, jump forward, breathe in, let's go two more times through, take this flow, fill every pore of your body with your breath as you melt down, lift the leg, point the toe, Lower, 
rise up, extend back, other foot comes forward, lower, and up. Inhale, one last time, forward fold, hands to shins, extend, breathe out and soften, jump back, lift the leg, Breathe, come back, other side, pull all the way back, jump your feet forward, hands to shins, lift up, exhale, breathe out and soften, the inhale carries you up, the exhale opens and expands. Breathe in and lift up. Now breathe out, exhale and lower strong. Let's lift with the in breath. Exhale and soften with the out breath. Jump lightly back. Hold your plank here and push firmly through the heels of the hands and through the heels of the feet. Now squeeze your thigh muscles. Keep them really strong and braced. Squeeze your bottom and push up into your shoulder blades. Now hold that strength and bring yourself down onto your forearms. Both hands come forward and just feel that strength change now in your core. Tuck your tail between your legs and breathe. Push down into the forearms and not just into the point of the elbow and lock in that breath. Now can you lift one leg? Push that heel away firmly. And breathe. Accepting the challenges that come your way today. Knowing they make you stronger from the inside out. Lift the other foot, push it away. Place both hands down. Shift the weight forward over your hands. Exhale and glide it back. Come again forward. Push the weight forward. Exhale and glide it back. Come up onto your hands. Bring the weight forward again. Feel this exercise change. Feel the strength you're creating through your arms. And keep those thigh muscles strong. Squeeze the bottom. Breathe. You need to take a recovery. Drop down onto your knees. Eyes keep it strong. Take one more breath in here. Exhale, push back into down dog and take a recovery. Just push the heels down firm. Lengthen through the spine and breathe. Here, bring your eyes forward of your hands, lift one leg up and then glide that leg all the way through between your hands. Keep your back heel up as you lift up into a strong lunge. Pull the hands right back by your ears and drop down into this. Now see if you can reach your hands right to the roof. Push energy through your back heel. And now just breathe and hold that real steady focus. Accepting the challenge and finding the calm. From here, turn and open your arms to the side. Reach the arm out long and have them parallel to your shoulders. Now see if you can sink a little lower and just breathe. Find that calm, quiet focus and relax. Opening through the spine, softening. Bring yourself forward, bring the hand down to the ground. Inhale and lift up. 
sink low. You want to drop the hips, but lift the thigh muscles and make this hand really light on the ground so you can feel that heat you're creating through this leg. Inhale, stay in the work. Rise up. Exhale, breathe. Can you soften the shoulders? Can you soften the breath? How are we doing? Hands come down. Step back, down dog. Ooh, take the pressure off. Bring the weight down into the heels. Lengthen through the spine. And relax. We take the work out of the legs and we bring it back into the upper body and into the core again. So come back into your plank. Push up into the shoulder blades. Squeeze the bottom. Brace the belly and find that inner strength that you know you've got. Every single muscle works in this pose. We're strong inside and out. Come down onto your forearms. Arms are like railway tracks. Keep the bottom squeezed and breathe. Can you push your heels away from you? Can you push into the ground? Bring the weight forward over the hands. And now push the heels away again. Come forward again over the hands. Exhale and push it back. Forward. Exhale and back. One more. back up onto your hands. The weight is firmly through the toes, evenly through the hands, and we breathe, embracing the challenge. And just when you want to give up, know that these challenges ahead of you are good for you. They're making you stronger. Breathe. Four, three, two, push back into down dog and recover. Big deep breaths. Okay, take the other leg all the way up. Bring that leg through between your hands. Then take a big deep breath in and rise all the way up into your lunge. Pull the hands back. Sink low and then turn and open to the side. Drop down. Relax the shoulders. Breathe. Can you lift that back knee? Can you sink deeper into the arms? Embrace it. Lock in, sink lower. Hey, okay. land the hand, inhale and rise up. Turn the shoulder. Bottom hand is really light as you rotate. Again, where can you soften and where can you strengthen? Inhale, lift up, sweep all the way around into your lunge again. Drop low, embrace it, lean back a little, see what happens. Go four, three, two, one. Hands come down, step back into your down dog and relax. Big deep breaths. We're calm and we're quiet. Mm. 
So we're gonna bring your strength back into our upper body. Bring your weight forward of your hands, brace them through your middle. We're gonna do five plank push-ups. So drop down, squeeze the bottom, and push up. Strong and controlled, push up. Keep your body strong from your heel through your spine if you need to, drop to your knees and down, push up, two more, last one, inhale and lift, push back, down dog, step in with your right foot, inhale, lift up, exhale and lower, inhale, extend back, inhale, come forward, turn up, Arrive into the challenge. Step back, other side. Lunge forward. Exhale down. We lift. We breathe in. And we come back. Drop in. Connect your breath to this movement. It's like a seamless flow from one into the next. In through your nose and out through your nose. Find that sliding motion. Continuous, soft. Can you lengthen each pose a little more? See where you can take the body. Lean back, come in. Last one, come forward, rise up. And down, all the way up. Exhale and lower, step back. Bring the weight forward over the hands. We go one push up, push up, turn to the side, knee tuck, turn back, one push up, strong and braced, lift up, Ooh, that was very good, lift up, come in, keep it strong, keep it locked in. Breathe through it. Round two more. Down and up, across. Last one, over and up. Okay, hold your plank strong through the middle. Bring yourself down super slow and hold it halfway. Super slow. Hold. Breathe. Exhale. Inhale and lift up. Relax. Down dog. Sink back. Drop in. Okay, from here, step your back leg forward, turn around so you're side on, and just angle your heels out and come into a wide forward fold. Let the whole upper body melt down. Just take a few really good breaths. Inhale, lift up, just straighten the arms, come up onto your fingertips. And really push your seat bones back. Then exhale and forward fold again. Breathe out. One more time, inhale and lift. Exhale and breathe out. 
bring your feet in a little closer this time have your feet so they're angled slightly out and just sink yourself down into a wide squat dropping low it's like you're riding a really wide horse so drop in take a big deep breath in exhale hands come down to prayer now breathe can you squeeze your bottom and tuck your tail underneath you as you do this and then sink down even deeper think of really pulling your knees out over your toes if you need to shuffle your feet in a little closer so that you can be there it's all about squeezing the bottom to open the hips and then sink in take a breath open your arms out wide relax your toes and just breathe inhale lift we're going to combine the essence of tai chi with our strength so take your breath wide exhale sink drop into those legs breathe in breathe out and reset go two more inhale extend out through the fingertips close your eyes if you need and just focus on that breath breathe out and drop inhale lift exhale and sink you really come out of that inhale lift turn your heels out exhale and come forward sink low breathe relax some really good deep breaths we're gonna do that again So we're going to do that again, inhale, lift up, bring your feet in, take a big deep breath in, exhale and sink down into your squat. So pull the knees right out over the toes, sink down, hands to prayer, relax the shoulders and let's breathe in through the nose, find that challenge accept it know that the challenges you face in your life make you stronger challenges are good take the breath lift up exhale sink down low we embrace it breath in rise up exhale and drop can you get deeper Take your breath, two more, lift, exhale and down, one more, this time we're not moving out of this, we're going to come down low, hand comes to the leg, you add in a twist, so keep the weight even through both feet, turn and rotate up into your top hand if it feels better with your hand eyes down keep your eyes down but try and keep the weight even through both legs and try not to favor one or the other the legs stay still and then we lift up breathe in breathe out come over to the other side legs stay where they are open focus that inner strength I know you've got stay with it breathe in lift exhale one last breath come forward and get out of there turn the toes out out in sorry let yourself melt down and relax Okay, inhale to lift and lengthen your spine, exhale to soften and relax. I'm going to be turning side on again like this. Am I in the wrong spot again?
Yes. Okay, inhale to lift up through your spine. Exhale and lower down. From here, turn yourself around and then step yourself back into down dog. Push the heels down firmly. And then bring yourself forward over your hands again. From here, bring knee to outside of the elbow and hold. Try and connect that. Feel the brace and the strength through your side abs. And try and bring your nose around towards your knee at the same time. Hold that. Go four, three, two, one, and take it back. Other side. Hold. Locked and strong. Four, three, two, one. Push back, press up. Lower strong, lift up, lean back, down dog, jump your feet forward, land soft and let your spine lengthen over your thighs. From here, breathe in, lift up, just straighten your fingertips and straighten your legs, then breathe out and forward fold again. Try that again, breathe in and lift, breathe out and drop, bring your hands behind your back, link your fingertips and let the weight of the hands fall over your head, let your head really relax and just keep pulling the hands straight up, breathe. melt down again tuck one foot underneath you and bring yourself down so you're sitting on the ground just wiggle your legs straight out in front and then just slowly lower yourself down onto your back Bring your knees up over top of your hips and just lock in strong through your core. Extend one leg out at a time. Breathe in, take that leg straight up and then straight back down again. Your aim is to make sure that your back doesn't move. Keep it locked in and extend. Super strong. Go two more. Last one. Pull that leg in. Go to the other side. So leg is straight. Point the toe and reach. Imagine I'm standing on top of your abs, keeping everything locked in. Extend it out. Breathe. Two. Last one. Take both legs out this time. Opposite. Arms go out behind you at the same time. And then curl them all back in. Extend again. If this is too much, you take your feet straight up to the sky. So take them up here. Curl in, as long as you can, and then in, two more, last one, and reach, let your feet drop down onto the ground, and just take a gentle release through your spine by lifting your hips up. Try and drive your hips up to their highest point and keep your knees squeezed together. 
And exhale and lower down. From here, take one leg out, bend in the knee of the other side, and just gently rock from side to side of that knee. Turn the foot to the side and reach your hands underneath it. So your elbows are coming in. And try and tuck your elbows right underneath that leg and then pull it in towards you. Then crunch yourself up towards that leg. If you want, lift the other leg off the floor as you lift up and feel an amazing stretch through the outside of your legs. Take some deep breaths here. And just hold. Exhale, sink down. Bring both knees in towards your chest. Give them a hug and gently rock. I bring in the other leg. Again, just gently move from side to side, loosen up the hips. Bring your hands underneath it. Tuck your elbows in as close as you can and lift yourself up closer to that leg like you're crunching yourself in. The other leg can lift up and just find that stretch in through your hips. Breathe, soften, and relax. Then let yourself lower down. Again, knees in towards the chest, and just gently move. From there, just bring your knees together. I'm just gonna finish off with a really nice meditation to take us home. So let your hands go wide, feet go wide. If you want, let your legs lengthen right out onto the ground and your feet fall wide. Otherwise, just find a really calm, quiet breath and let yourself settle down. So today's yoga was all about strength accepting challenges and knowing that they're there to make us stronger mentally and physically. In our lives we always have challenges that come up ahead of us. And it's your choice on how you decide to deal with them. So by using yoga as a tool of accepting challenges, of dealing with them in the appropriate way, and by coming out on the other side a stronger, more focused, more resilient human being. So just take a couple of really big deep breaths in. And fill your lungs up to their highest point. And as you breathe out, just cement those thoughts in. Maybe there's some challenges that you know you're gonna face ahead of your day today. Maybe there's something sitting on your mind that you need to deal with. How can you use today to use this challenge ahead of you to become stronger? Use the resilient yoga determination to get you through this challenge. use it as a lesson. Learn from it, grow from it, and move on from it. Just 
take a few moments now just to really stay focused on your breathing. Breathe in for a count of four. Breathe out for a count of four. Just feel your entire body relax, sink and melt down. Bring you back in a few moments. You just listen and hear your breathing. Take a couple of really energizing and satisfying breaths in. Fill their lungs right up. Take your breath to your fingers, to your toes. If you're lying on the ground, lengthen your hands of your head, stretch your legs. And then just bring your knees in towards your chest and give them a hug. And as soon as you feel ready, bring yourself up to a sitting position and join me. Take a big deep breath in, inhale, lift up. Exhale, and just let yourself come down and relax. Well, I hope you enjoyed that yoga today. It was an opportunity for you to learn how to deal with challenges. Now, if you've got any challenges that you're facing, or maybe you don't have any that you can think of right ahead of you now, but use the skills that you learn in yoga to learn how to deal with challenges, to learn how to make the right choices so that they're the choices that sit right from you and so that you can learn from those experiences, you can grow stronger, you can become more resilient, and you can move on from them. Have an absolutely magic day ahead of yourself and if you've got any questions at all, don't be afraid to get in touch. Otherwise, have a fantastic day.